Uh, let's jump in. Let's jump in. Uh, and and <laughs> I guess this is also the time where I should mention my conspiracy theory. Okay. So again, we all were on a bus together. Okay. Every single person was on a bus together. And, and we kept making jokes like, if this bus blows up, man, it's going to change the entire course of YouTube, right? That, that's the day that, uh, you, you know, we, a lot of jokes like that were made. I thought everyone was on the bus. You see, it's 50 YouTubers in the box fighting for a million dollars. Only 48 of the YouTubers in this event were on the bus. Two of them had already arrived early. And they're the first two people you see when you open the video. Logan Paul and KSI. We're going to talk about that in a little moment, but first, let's start the video. I've gathered 50 of the biggest YouTubers on the planet. And whichever one lasts the longest in this queue would have million dollars for their subscribers. Never before seen in YouTube history. One billion subscribers worth of YouTubers are competing for one million dollars. And the rules are simple. All right, point the camera down. Close the line. Okay. So, if you step on the red line, you lose your subscribers a million dollars. So be careful. Last to leave. Now, Eve wins it all. Now, it's worth emphasizing, re emphasizing, you are winning a million dollars for your subscriber or subscribers. We're not playing for ourselves. And at points, people like got that confused in the box, right? Because although it's all uh, uh, YouTubers, not everyone here is millionaires. You know what I mean? Like, YouTubers come in all different sa shapes and sizes and in, in incomes. Uh, so some of them were like, damn, bro, a million dollars is more than I have. <laughs> that would suck to give away. And other people are like mega, mega rich, uh, like e buy, And it's like, yeah, a million dollars probably doesn't matter too much. But it's for the subscribers. Okay? So I'm fighting for you. Like, bro, I watch these Squid Games, like, yeah. reality show. And it's like, I feel like I'm just a target. People are not going to be friends in this There's ball. No we got money, bro. This is real USD. I'm pumped, bro. You finally made finally! it in the video. The best strategy is to just conserve energy. Think about that million dollar pot. Between us, would you eliminate someone else so you could stay in? My subscribers, of course. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Get off me. <laughs> JJ, do you know? The now, off rip. That was real money. Like, the million dollars was actual cash. And although it might look like it's all crumpled up bills, underneath the crumpled up bills are stacks of... Wait, actually, uh, <laughs> let me show it to you. <clears throat> it was perfect stacks of $100 that were all wrapped, okay? Brand new bills, if you will. I, I, uh, I've had this. I, no, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't steal it. Have, whoa, the accusations being levied against me, I find abhorrent. Uh, no, I, uh, I've had this uh, from a family friend. Anyway, it was stacks of these, all right? And so a lot of people at the start were throwing around the loose bills and then, you know, kind of just picking up the $100 bills, the $100 stacks, I should say. It's not like you can leave with them anyway, you know, because if you leave, you're out. But, but uh, yeah playing around with the cash a little bit that's a lot of cash i will say one funny story sketch had this like because everyone at the start was just kind of like chilling right sitting down getting to know each other but we were we were sitting down for like a couple of hours before anything happened sketch was next to the pile of a million dollars and threw it up and made it rain on himself i'm shitting you not for 20 minutes and he didn't lose any enthusiasm at all for the act he just kept doing it and having fun, like literally just like throwing up the dollars and then and then dancing in it. And he just, like, it, he never got bored. He never got bored. He did it for 20, I was watching him. The more enemies you make, the higher the chance they might eliminate you. Oh, no, no, we're just goofing around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fun. yeah, He's literally hiding behind the money. I don't think he got the goofing around memo. Look at all the YouTubers laughing and having a good time. By the end of this video, that's not going to be the case. That's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Yeah, I'm in the video, baby. A lot of people are saying, oh, a lot of you're not in the thumbnail, felled off. First off, it's because we took thumbnail pictures. Like, they made all of us take thumbnail pictures, and they had, like, a glass pane. And they are like, press up against the black pane. Uh, 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 not the black pane. The glass pane and make a, make a thumbnail face. And I, I was too self-aware and, like, conscious to start soyjacking for them. 
I was like cringing. I was cringing. I couldn't do it. I literally couldn't do it. I was cringing so hard. So I went up to the glass pane and I started doing this. Oh no. And I, I, that's why they didn't use any of my pictures. Logan Paul went before me. He went to the glass pane. He was like, I, I couldn't do that. I could just, there's something in my brain that wouldn't let me do that in that environment. Okay. This video is absolutely the most brutal I hate you, Jimmy. cutthroat piece of content you've ever seen these creators in. And the first challenge starts right now. Pull the curtain. You guys are not ready for this. For challenge number one, you can temporarily walk out of the cube and attempt a free throw. And if you make the shot, we will give a subscriber of yours a free Cybertruck. And you'll be allowed back in the challenge. But if you miss, your subscriber gets nothing and you are eliminated. How did they get this many Cybertrucks in one place? I cannot make that shot. It's too risky. A free throw is so easy. A free throw is easy. I could not. <laughs> Me saying a free throw is easy, knowing I'm like 30% accuracy. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. A value of a Cybertruck is, I think, around $100,000. So it's maybe worth it relative to the contest to go for this if your chance of making a free throw is around 50%, right? Because you have a 50% chance of making 100 k and a 1 in 50 chance of winning a million dollars. So I think, like, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, like, money calculators, I'm pretty sure it's worth the, the, the toss. Here's my thing. Cybertrucks are fucking ugly. And if you're a real Ludwig subscriber, you are likely not a fan of the Cybertruck. Just factually. Now, you might argue you could sell it, whatever, sure. But that's not really what we were talking about in that moment. It's like drive it off the lot, okay? And, and we'll get we'll, we'll, we'll get into even more details a little later, but... I have free throw to save my life. Everyone was on the edge, trying to decide if the first challenge was worth it. But then Mark Rover did this. Jimmy! Peace! No! Oh! I'm doing it! No way! Look at all the YouTubers in the background. Oh man, this is pressure. This is a now, okay, a couple things. The video, uh, <laughs> I was really trying to win this contest. And I started counting everyone's uh, numbers on the back of their shirt. And I thought I had a theory that it added up to a billion. They didn't tell us that it added up to a billion subscribers. So I did the math. I added up all the subscribers on the back of the shirts. It turns out it adds up to like 910 million. It doesn't even add up to a billion. Mr. Beast is scamming low key. All right. Nobody knows this. I did the fucking math. I looked through. Now, if you add second channels, third channels, we're like at 2 billion. Like we're well over a billion. It's not a billion though, brother. I, I pushed, I pushed that shit on the fucking calculator. I remember that they, they, they came out. They're very proud. They're like, guys, just so you know, combined in this room, there's a billion subscribers. Everyone cheered. I'm like, Tyler, can I speak to you in private? He comes over. I'm like, bro, I did the math. <laughs> he was like, oh, fuck. The subscriber. What's your name? Uh, Matthew. Don't let him down. You got to make this bad. <laughs> uh, I got faith in you. It's on you, Mark. Are you going to win your biggest fan a cyber truck, or are you both leaving with nothing? Devastating as that was, Gideon decided that maybe he could do a little better. Okay, maybe the worst shot of all time. You might be asking yourself, Ludwig, why did Gideon take a free throw shot if he is bad enough to not only miss the backboard, but hit the top of the backboard? And the answer to that question is actually pretty simple. A lot of people who showed up to this contest did not want to win. Now you might be asking, Ludwig, who wouldn't want to win a million dollars for their subscriber? And the answer is simple, busy people. And a lot of the people here are massive YouTubers with massive businesses. The exposure that they might get from being in a Mr. Beast video doesn't really increase too much if they're in it for, you know, four minutes versus 30 seconds. All right. So unless you are down. For the long haul, for, you know, about 48 hours, which is kind of what they said going into it, how long it might take, then it's better to just get out early, all right? 
Now, Gideon's not the best example of this because the entire time he was saying, I really want to win. I think he got baited into exiting the cube by someone. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's why Mark Rober left first. I think he had shit to do. It's fucking Mark Rober, bro. Oh. <laughs> Tried. I think I definitely lost a subscriber. Guys, this is my moment. I am a basketball YouTuber. If you go out there, I'll go out there too. All right, I'm out. Hey, I'm next. Dude, I'm gonna go with you. Gentlemen, here's your biggest fans. You got a lot of pressure. I can't watch this, I can't watch it. Jester, are you going to let down your biggest fan? Okay, low-key, Jester is one of the most clutch people alive. I didn't realize he had that dog in him because he has so much pressure being a basketball YouTuber attempting a free throw. If he misses, there's a lot more to lose than Mark Rober missing. You know what I mean? <laughs> On the cyber truck, we got more shots. Thank you, Jester. However, not everyone was so fortunate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't get you the cyber truck. Now, in no universe do I think Ryan Trahan missed that shot on purpose. However, Ryan Trahan is one of the people, like I said before, who is not in it for the long haul. In fact, I think Ryan had the highest value experience of any YouTuber there for the time invested. Cause he showed up, he filmed like 20 different YouTube shorts to promote his candy joyride. He asked every single YouTuber to try it, like the biggest names in the game, then left within like an hour of the competition and flew home same day. Got free fucking AirPods, free Game Boy, you know, bunch of feasibles, bunch of free promo for his candy, then he's out. That, he, he was a smart, I saw that and I was like, damn, that guy's a smart fucking businessman. I, I felt dumb as shit in that moment. I'm like, I showed up actually to just try and win the contest. I didn't even think about... Uh, all I did is I took one Polaroid picture, I think with Sketch, and then I lost it. That's it. I didn't even... I don't have it for you. Everything that I... I didn't even vlog. I didn't vlog. I didn't fucking take a picture. Devastating. Will FaZe Rugs fan be taking home a cyber truck, or will we have yet another loss? Come on, Rugs. Come on. Now, you might notice that throughout all Let's these shots, go! all these shots, they bring out the subscriber, right? They bring them out, and you, and, and, and you shoot with your subscriber watching you, and then they immediately get to drive off, which is kind of a cool thing. Now, what didn't make it to the video is I was getting baited into doing this free throw. I've talked a lot about playing basketball. Some people in the cube knew about me playing basketball. And they were like, Ludwig, take the free throw shot. And Mr. Beast, because he wants, you know, action. He wants content. He was like, do it, Ludwig. And then he brought out my subscriber. He brought him out. And out walks this dude whose name is Holden, right? He walks out. And I start to interview him. Because what I was really curious about, I was like, is this an actual Ludwig fan, right? Or is it just someone who vaguely knows about me, who they're calling a Ludwig fan. So the guy's name's Holden. It's not like a D's Nuts joke. His actual name's Holden. I thought it was. <laughs> I thought I, I feel bad. My bad, Holden. And he comes out, and, and I, I'm basically trying to quiz him to gauge whether or not this is truly a Ludwig viewer. So I ask him some questions. This is in Ray's vlog. Is it? Is it? Okay, wait, hold up. You know, we're going we're gonna to take a detour. Valken Ray. Valky Ray. This is Mr. Beast sleeping some money. Oh, two fake shots. They're just driving it out. Yeah, you're getting it. You're going home. Play basketball now. He just takes the car home. He just drives. Yeah. Whoever rolled the lowest lost probably luckily. I have an idea for you. You watch the stream. So you remember when I said cyber trucks suck? No, you didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying. First off, I was trying to get out of this. So I lied, and I said, remember when I said Cyber Suck Suck? Which I probably have said on stream, by the way. I probably have said that, but he's like, no, you didn't say that. Oh. And I said I would win the challenge, and I'll just cut you off 100K. So he wins. He wins a million. Approach anybody like that. I lost the game that Ludwig made me play. <gasps> it was so embarrassing. I have an idea for you. You watch the stream. Okay, okay. Val Valkyrie didn't record that part. 
I asked Holden, I said, Holden, what is your favorite Ludwig video? Or what was the first one you watched? You know what this motherfucker says to me? There he is right there. He pauses for about like 30 seconds. Then he goes, uh, the subathon. It's in there? Wins a million dollars. Who you want? They were like, do you know? <laughs> that's it. I don't. Well, I didn't want to. You want to do that? Is know who you want? They were like, do you know Ludwig? I was like, yeah, that's it. I don't know anything. <laughs> Shit, Jimmy. I'm out. So all they did was ask a guy if they knew who Ludwig was. He's not like a fucking diehard. He's not a fan. I don't even know if he's a subscriber. He just knew who I was. And when I asked him what video he watched, he just said the subathon. I'm not fucking going out there and eliminating myself for that guy. No offense. Now, I did say if I won the entire challenge, I would break him off 100K because I, I felt guilty in the moment. Uh, and, and, I, and I do hold true to my word there, okay? Love you, dude. I love you too. We back! And after seeing three massive YouTubers lose this challenge, it was clear nobody else wanted to try it. So in the meantime, I let all the YouTubers get settled. Oh, that's a that's a pro there. But it wouldn't be long. You guys, this is what I was talking about. I let all the YouTubers get settled. This is sketch was just throwing up these. He just kept throwing them up. All fucking day, just yossing them up. Oh, that's a, that's a pro there. But it wouldn't be long until being settled turned into being bored. Bored enough to literally be stupid. I don't know why he's doing this, but he's technically not out yet. He has not touched the red. Oh! oh. We'll check the footage. Oh. Did he touch it? Oh. oh, yeah. No! So far, four YouTubers have left. Okay, that guy was just, I don't even know what to say. Everyone was like kind of doing their own thing. And then they're like, a guy's outside the cube because the line technically isn't directly outside the cube. It's a step further. So he was trying to cross around the whole thing. Yeah, dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Did he lose a bet? No. He just said, I can do that and then tried to do it. It was kind of Chad like, but he failed. So it reduces the aura a lot. Left the cube. And we need one more to leave before we can start the next challenge. Can I say I fucking love when Mr. Beast uses classical music in his content? Challenge two will begin when one person gets out. Stop! <laughs> I'm making out like a bandit Pokemon. Can I take my jacket with me? Of course. Yeah, okay. Oh! Okay. Bye. Bye. And then there is 45. I'm gonna go prep the second challenge. I'll be back. Now, Lily Pichu is not exactly the person you would expect to have the gumption to want to win this challenge. Uh, she did just pack her her jacket full of hundred stacks, uh, kind of like this one that I found on my own and I did not steal, but I have on my own, uh, and then walked out with them. I don't know how much money she walked out with. It was definitely more than a rack. It was definitely more than a rack. Uh, having said that, she felt guilty and then I think donated it all to charity. In my universe... I didn't do this because I didn't walk out. In my universe, <laughs> I would have fucking kept that shit. She felt like guilty and donated to charity. Bro, it's Mr. Fucking Beast. He's good. You can steal a couple K from him. It's okay. He even gave you permission. Keep the fucking cash, bro. There are some people who are kind of brain dead who are like, wow, you took the money from whoever's going to win the contest. But like, <laughs> I don't know what they expect. I don't, I don't know if they expect uh, the person who wins the contest to pull up to TSA with a backpack like this with a million dollars in it. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they thought would happen. Yeah, here you go. Here, Thank you very much for winning. It's all in here. Now travel by yourself across the country. There you go. No, that's not how the fucking money's delivered, obviously. It is real cash, but it's a fucking prop in the sense that it is not leaving Mr. Beast set. So it doesn't reduce the amount of money you win. Anyway, I, I, some people said that. I just want to shout out them being dumb and what Lily did is fine. And by prep, I mean sweep up the giant pile of a million... <laughs> wait, wait, I didn't see Good challenge, I'll be back. And by prep... Wait, wait. <laughs> this is me in the corner with the stacks of hundreds that I was stealing. You see this big stack of money? <laughs> I kept going over and taking hundreds and throwing them in the corner. I mean, sweep up. I didn't realize it was on camera. The oh, giant. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. 
That's so embarrassing. Pile of a million real dollars scattered on the floor. Yo, Mr. Beast sweeping money is a crazy shot. Mr. Beast is literally wiping money off of the floor. I don't know what to tell you about this. And now that all the money has been cleaned up. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Almost all of it. Second challenge. All right. I'm going to need you all to stand up. Uh-oh. You'll notice there are dots in groups of five on the floor. So naturally, I need all of you to split up into groups of five. And on top of that, elect a team captain for your group. <laughs> Who will be granted immunity for this next challenge? That's all. Now, okay, first things first. Captain for your group. <laughs> Who will be granted immunity for this next challenge? You might notice I am the captain of this group over here. There's a big shield on my face, but I'm over here. And this is my group. Now, this came to be because we all kind of know each other. Like, I, I am friends with everyone in this group, so we naturally formed this group of five. And the way they phrased it was kind of weird. They were like, the captain will be separate and they'll be immune. And we thought that the captain was going to compete against the other captains. And then the losing captain would, like, lose their team. So... Initially, Jaden was picked as the captain by uh, way of dice game. She won by pure luck because I, I snuck dice into this building. You're not supposed to bring any contraband. I snuck in the contraband. Uh, and we played dice. She won. We thought it was like a physical challenge or something. So I took over as captain. It turns out we were fucking wrong. That's all I will say. Have fun picking teams. This is crazy. We had to split into groups of five. Bro, if we're against each other, I'm going to be so sad. Okay, so let's do us five. We are in true overthinker fashion. Oh, yeah. Overthinking this challenge. Are you five going to be a group? Yeah. yeah. Okay, who's going to be the captain? We're deciding, we're deciding, Jimmy. Have you picked a captain yet? It's Jack. For some yeah. reason. <laughs> Marquez. How can you not trust Marquez? He's the most trustworthy tech reviewer online. Should I pick the captain, please? That's up to you guys. I want no say. How are you guys going to pick your captain? You ready, Charles? Who? Sketch, you trust him with your I life? I trust him. I trust him fully. Foreshadowing. All right, you'll notice my henchmen are bringing in tables for each of the team captains. And what's on these tables might look a little familiar. Oh, no, I know what it is. Yes, come on the other side. Oh. Captains, I want you to lift the cloth and reveal the next challenge. You have four cookies. Oh, my God. Freaking out. And each captain has to decide which YouTuber on their team. Okay, I think at this point, Mr. Beast owes like fucking payments to Squid Games. <laughs> this guy has done the Squid Game challenge a hundred fucking times. Move on from the cookies, Jimmy. Nobody gets the umbrella. We know. We know. Seen that shit a hundred fucking times. And maybe that was dumb of me because I didn't expect it. I, 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 I'm stupid because he's done a hundred times. I didn't expect it on the hundred first time, but, but there it was, there it was, it was, it was the cookies and the job of the captain was to divvy out who got which cookie, right? There's the circle. There's the, the triangle. There's the star. There's the umbrella. The umbrella is a surefire death. You basically auto lose and the triangle is a surefire win. So it's like, you, you know, it's a tough call to make. We'll cut each cookie. Oh my. If they break it, they're eliminated. No. And if it wasn't already obvious, depending on which cookie you get, this is either going to be really easy or almost impossible. Nico, <laughs> it's time to hand out some cookies. This is the worst day of my life, honestly. What are you handing, Sketch? There's no way. This is crazy. There's no way you will do it. This is crazy. There's no way. I can do this. There's no way you can do it. But the captain still had eight more umbrellas to hand out. Umbrella. That was fucking evil. That was evil of Nico. Nico, man, that was wrong. That was wrong. <laughs> Don't say homophobic. Don't say that. Don't say that. It's going to Michael. <laughs> How'd you end up with umbrella? I said I could do it. I trust him. Okay. Give me that umbrella, sir. Umbrella. I took it for the team. You're giving him the umbrella? <sighs> Ready. I believe in you. God save you. Oh, no. How'd you end up with the umbrella? Bad luck. You got now, spoiler alert, it wasn't fucking bad luck. People who got stuck with umbrellas were not getting stuck with umbrellas accidentally. What I mean by that is that people chose the umbrellas, all right? As I said earlier, a lot of people wanted to leave early. People like Matt Pat. I think Matt Pat, I talked to him. He was like, yeah, I'm going to Washington, D.C. to talk to, like, Congress. I have to leave. 
So he wanted the umbrella. Michael, I think, wanted to be reunited with Lily. So he wanted the umbrella. So not every group was like, oh, stuck with this really tough decision. Some had a really easy decision. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit of fucking tea. All right? My group was somewhat like that. All right, somewhat like that. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Lexi got the umbrella. I got the umbrella. I'm confident. It's a cruel world. I'm so sorry. Bro! Pokemon! I think it's in Schlatt's vlog. I, I watched Schlatt's vlog. Now, look, I've seen... It's a cruel world. I've seen this picture <laughs> like a thousand times since the video dropped. <laughs> Uh, me with my chest out handing Schlatt his death. Schlatt melancholically accepting it. I've seen this many, many times. Okay. The backstory behind it, Schlatt and co. He dropped a vlog. So Schlatt came in hey with guys. this like 1993 Sony, uh, not digital camera, tape camera, like a tape recorder. It's me uh, vlogging my stay at the Residence Inn and Suites in Greenville, North Carolina. Nice, uh, yeah. Hey, man. This is my this is my little home video. I can tell. Yeah, you got like the <laughs> archaic dinosaur there, brother. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Everyone making fun of the subscriber number. Let me find the moment. So, okay, I guess. <laughs> so two things happened so far that weren't said. The first one is that I had some dice, right? I snuck in some contraband. And between the challenges for you guys as viewers, it's minutes. But for us as competitors, it was hours. And the first game of dice that I came up with, I'll just show you some footage. I've heard of Schlatt. I think that's like oh, way cringier. Oh, I think that's oh, way cringier, oh, right? So I had these dice and I kept going up to people. I was like, let's go head to head. Loser leaves. All right. Which I thought was pretty fucking dope. And to be honest, I was down to do it. All right. I was literally down to do it. Uh, but nobody was fucking down. Nobody was down. Nobody was doing it. <laughs> What we ended up doing is we rolled dice. The loser would have to go up to a person of the winner's choice and say something that the winner wanted them to say, right? So the example here is I beat Schlatt in the head-to-head -head dice. I made him go up to Logan Paul and say, have you heard of Schlatt? And here's that moment. That wasn't the only time that happened, by the way. I did the same thing with Jaden, Jaden Animations. We rolled the dice. She lost. I made her go up to Kai. And I made her say, so which of my videos have you seen? And Kai, super sweet guy, he goes, uh, I, oh, I haven't. I haven't. And, you know, Jaden's not, like, you know, the same personality type as Schlatt. Like, that, that, was, that was a tough interaction there. That was a tough interaction. Yeah, yeah, Ray also, I did it to Ray. I beat Ray. She went up to Sketch, and she was like, Hi, uh, I'm Ray, but you probably know that already. <laughs> Turns out, by the way, everyone was really sweet about it, so it was fine. But the dice is how he determined uh, who was captain, right? Now, Jaden won, but we picked me as captain because we thought it might be a physical challenge. Because of that, it was only fair that I gave Jaden the triangle. Schlatt and Charlie were two people who weren't exactly keen in staying for the full 48 hours. So we, they did a rock, paper, scissors. The loser got an umbrella. That's how Schlatt ended up with it. He lost RPS to Charlie. 
because neither him nor Charlie were super keen, again, on winning the entire thing because they didn't want to be there for that long, right? Basically, there's like this big threat of staying overnight because then you have to like, you know, sleep in the cube. It's a bad night's sleep. You feel like shit and it just wasn't worth it uh, to like, you know, fight that hard and, and take that much time off. I'm so sorry. Bro! Pokemon, I believe in you! You are her! This is your time! This is your moment! Let everyone know that you the bad bitch! Start the timer! Alright, the 10 minute counter has begun. If you don't carve the shape out, obviously you'll be eliminated. I thought being team captain would mean I could do a challenge and help my team win. Turns out, I skipped the challenge and punished my team. Good VO, Ludwig. Oh, chills. Chills. Cinema. <laughs> it tastes really good, though. Easy peasy. Ten minutes is a long time. And that's what I thought as well, but it took a solid chunk of time before this happened. Yes! 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 Come on, sketch. Come on, sketch. But not everyone had it so easy, like Logan Paul with the star and Pokimane with the hardest of them all. Back. Easy, like Logan Paul with the star and... I... I think this might be the right time to bring up my conspiracy theory, okay? I have a conspiracy theory, or maybe I should say I had a conspiracy theory, that this competition in some way was rigged for Logan Paul. I'll explain. I told you guys earlier, 48 of the 50 people rode to the site together on a bus. Two of the people who didn't were Logan Paul in KSI. They were already at the building, which I found weird. All right. Now for this first challenge, he knew that it was basketball. I don't know how he knew. He might have got it from a guard. But all the contestants, there started to be whispers that the first challenge was basketball related. Logan knew that. All right. I thought that was weird that he knew that. And that now everyone else knew that it was basketball related. Okay. It continues. When there was this, the Squid Game challenge, he walked up to this group after, I believe her name is Lexi Rivera, said to, I think, Ray and someone else. I, I forget exactly who's in this group. She said, I want to leave. Give me the umbrella. Lexi Rivera said that. Logan joined the group after that was said. All right? I've, I've, I've heard whispers that this is what happened. Okay? So he knew. He knew. This is before, by the way, we knew it was Squid Game. All right? It's in Logan's video. We'll watch it in a bit. I'll give you a few more pieces of my conspiracy theory. But, but uh, just remember this thought. Remember this thought. And Pokimane with the hardest of them all. <gasps> Wait, no, it stop. cracked down the middle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pokimane, I'm sorry. Because the umbrella had just obliterated Pokimane, the others took notice and were more cautious with their umbrellas. Catch, you have to be careful, yeah? Take your time, take your time. But the people with simpler shapes were showing a lot more progress. Hey, you got the star, let's go! Yay! Yeah. Yes! I have to tell you guys to watch Riku's channel again. He's one of the fucking greatest YouTubers of all time. Oh my god, my team rules! Come on, come on, let's go guys, let's go. Logan, that might be the most disgusting cookie out here. Bro, you're making me do this, bro. I'm trying to win a million dollars for the low gang. <laughs> okay, real shit, the cookies made me gag. Especially Charlie. Oh, I can't, I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. So, well, okay, everyone, if, if you've seen Squid Game, you lick the back of the cookie, which uh, basically dissolves some of the sugar, and the thinnest part of the cookie, a.k.a. where the design is, then becomes so thin the cookie pops out, right? Charlie had this strategy. Uh, I can't even talk about it. So in the uh, in the tin cup, he would just spit in it and then just spin it, spin it around in his own spit. Oh, my. I can't talk about it anymore. But I was the team captain, so I had to pick up all the tins. Ah! It's giving me shivers talking about it. It's giving me fucking shivers talking about it. It was a good strategy, but I hate... I, that's... Ah! Nice, nice, nice. Y'all got it, boys. Good stuff. <laughs> you could say Charlie's the OG hawk to it, yeah. Yes, yes, sketch. Yes, yes, yes. My first fallen soldier. Oh, guys. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, that's disgusting. I hate you, Jimmy. All right, all right. Hey, wait, hey, really quick, really quick. I'm good. Hey, that's where it's going to mess up. This is where people crack. Oh. Carl. <laughs> You did this! <laughs> Does anyone want 
Just for a piece of change. What happened? He betrayed me. Yeah, do you trust him with your I life? I trust him. I trust him fully. I'm really sorry. You gave the guy with the worst eyesight, with the worst hands. The Sevens worst for Sketch. I'm sorry, brother. And with that, the second challenge has eliminated Colby and Rug, Michael Reeves, Bede, it's okay, bro. Ozzy, thank you, thank you. Lexi, and Matt. Oh. The true million dollars was the friends we made along the way, and that's no theory. Retirement begins! Yes, <laughs> he just re-retired. And we also lost J Slat, Pokimane, and Matsu. Okay, they cut it out. Schlatt, he, Schlatt made a meal of his exit. They cut it out. I, I see I see Schlagheads on Twitter literally thirsting for scraps of the 20 seconds he was in this YouTube video. Uh, Schlatt pretended he won. Because he put the case, the cap of the tin back on, and then and then put it on the on the podium. It's in Ray's vlog. Wait, hold up. I think I just had it open, right? Control shift. Hey guys, it's me. Oh, that's slag. And I'll just cut you off. Uh, as they... Spain, huh? Uh, two people win. I'm Zen. That's how you say your name, right? It's like it's incredible. <laughs> It was shattered into a billion pieces. He just made a meal of it. It's like it's incredible. Even. It's that hard to so gross. It's like, it's like in a million pieces. I swear that was an umbrella. <laughs> when, he put, when he put it on, it was an umbrella. 33 of you remain. Congrats. Anyway, that was funny. That was funny. Schlott's funny. I've decided Schlott's funny. So, in a way, I was gifted this first challenge win by Jaden allowing me to be captain. Because she won the game of chance. I only got it from, like, our belief of what the challenge might be. I really kind of lucked out. That's the only reason I made it through here. Yes. He just re-retired. And we also lost J Slat, Pokimane, and Matsu. And lastly, of course, Sketch. Uh, thanks for coming out. Thank you so much. Are you going to dab him up? Oh! oh. Love you. 11 people were eliminated and only 34 of you remain. Congrats. You are an evil man, Mr. Beast. There were some beloved people that were taken. I'm they happy were. they're gone, every single one of them, because it means my odds are better. Now, the herd has been thinned, and I'm going to win. And while setting up the next challenge, I let the 34 remaining YouTubers entertain themselves. We can play uh, game. <laughs> How close you can you get to Red Line, bro? We did that with bottle caps. That's right. The device that entertains your favorite creators are bottle caps. Okay, if you haven't, I really recommend checking out Chunks' video on this. Chunks basically was the host and owner and operator of one of the greatest esports of all times, uh, Caps, which is, as Jimmy explained, a game where you flick a Fiji bottle cap as close to the red line as possible without touching or crossing the red line. Uh, and everybody had one turn, and if you were the closest, you became the GOAT, and then you'd move on to the next season. Uh, and in total, we played, like, for probably an hour plus, uh, and I got scammed. I'm gonna let the video play, but I want you guys to tell me if I got scammed. No, I gotta think about it. No, cause that was fucking crazy. That was fucking crazy. That was fucking crazy, man. I low okay, I Loki became such a big Jesser fan after this. Like, I know he's a massive YouTuber, but like his content has never been something that I particularly watch. It seems like you know, like for fun basketball content. After this, I'm like, nah, he's actually the goat. <laughs> he made the free throw. He did that flick. He's ju he's just an all star fucking athlete. Okay. Uh. That's enough of that for challenge three. Now they cut off the rest of the seasons. Uh, uh, Kai was the season one winner. Jesser was the season two winner. I want you to look what happened to me. Because I, I, I was, I was like a kind of a sleeper 
really nobody had any like appreciation of my skill. But in season four, which is the final season, I decided to whip out a legendary strategy. Now the rule was you had to touch this giant case of money. And so I came up with an idea. Oh. Who's next, who's next, who's next? There we go. Ooh. Oh my God. That's illegal, bro. Is that, was that legal though? This disgusting posture was banned in 1974 when the whole Estonian team was caught using performing enhancing substances and him using this form proves he's definitely guilty of the same. It's a touch. It's a touch. It's a touch. It's a DQ, unfortunately. DQ! However, everyone in life deserves a second chance. DQ'd because of the fucking Estonians, man. Fuck the Estonians. Okay, why is every comment that I post on people's YouTube videos getting like four likes? <laughs> okay, can someone like my vi like comments? Like, what is going on? Like, fuck, man. Like, fuck, dude. I'm getting fucking two fucking likes on that shit. One of them was me on my alt account. Shit. Oh. Anyway, I lost at caps because of that technicality, because he said the it was illegal. I would have been the season four goat. I want you to know. I need you all in groups of two and duct tape your hands together. Be careful who you pick as your partner. I was best man at these weddings, so we're riding together. All right, let's do it, Andrea. Do you see this? Everybody is picking their closest friends after Mr. B said to pick someone to tie your hands together. We're locking it in. Uh, yeah, I think we're locking it in. For some reason, everyone just paired up with their closest friends. Me and Charlie, the Botezes. He thinks that they're going to be teammates. Which, let's be honest, is not the best strategy in a Mr. Beast video. Except for... One person. Do we have to hold hands or am I just no, doing you this? No, you do. I have to hold hands. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yo, 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 Now that everyone has a partner, update the floor. Now, KSI immediately picked AJ. AJ didn't even have a say in it. KSI just went up to him and said, we're teammates. Logan uh, went up to Carrie right away and picked him as teammates. So this is where I started to form this conspiracy theory that they had some insider information on what the challenges were going to be. Because as you can probably expect, it was not a teamwork challenge. It was a one versus one against the person you were tied up with. Go ahead and bring it on in. Whoever you're duct taped to, we will cut you loose and you'll be going head to head <laughs> in giant Jenga. This is... Now, of course, he could just be smart and have predicted it. That's totally fine. That, but I just keep this in mind. That's all I'm saying. Keep this in mind. So stressful. I hate I'm Jenga. Not, no, we got this. We got this. <laughs> You've been laughing nonstop this whole time. So I think it makes sense for you to go first. The tape is off. Let's see who's going home. Oh, imagine it falls to the first one. Okay. He's not done until he puts the block on top. Now, obviously, the plan for Giant Jenga was to be a more extreme version of the game. But the tower was getting so tall, they couldn't even reach the top with a ladder. Oh, that is the most rickety ladder I've seen in my life. And because there was now a limit to how high the tower could go, eventually, they would run out of possible moves. This might be the final move right here. That was literally the last possible block to pull. So, JJ, you've ran out of luck. What are we doing here? It's been a pleasure, bro. No! Surely not. You're here, savage. An hour and a half. That was fucking crazy. That was crazy. Because people had joked about doing that, but actually doing that. Jenga game for that. I'm speechless. I don't know what's going on. Now, okay, the theory that KSI and Logan knew is exacerbated by the fact that it was meant to be giant Jenga and they both pick people who are much smaller in stature who have a clear disadvantage in giant Jenga just by being smaller he lost and then he took me out that is insane I'm gonna let you all vote if you think it was fair or not that JJ carried him out go to the right side if you think it's fair go to the left if you think it isn't I wish I voted unfair I thought it was kind of lame like I get it. Technically, he crossed the line, but I was like, you know, he won. I feel like it sucks. There's more evil people on that side. Not fair, not fair. No fair, man. No fair. The people have spoken with KSI. But I did think it was funny, so like, whatever. Like, I think it's ultimately valuable because it was funny, and it didn't result in him being out. Now, and AJ back in, 33 of you still were missed. Now, it wasn't in the video, but you might have seen a clip online of KSI talking about this challenge and saying that Ludwig was annoying. 
Uh, and and he's not wrong because the entire time he was playing Jenga, I would not shut the fuck up. And it wasn't really shown in this video. Guys, this was a three-hour Jenga match. I'm not lying. They played Jenga for hours. They didn't, they didn't fucking cut the game off. They just went through the motions until the very last possible move was played. Okay? The very last one. It was grueling. We didn't finish this one. We started at like 10 or something, 9. We, it didn't finish until like midnight. And that was the first game of what was supposed to be like 17 total games. Right? Uh, I, I, it was just some banter, but I get why it was annoying. Now, I'm going to show you because the footage finally re released. This is why I did it. Because I was one of the people who during the downtime was sleeping in challenges. <laughs> and this was KSI, the demon that he is. Whoa, go, get out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come, 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 come. Go, it's not a challenge. It's not a challenge. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not a challenge. He would walk up to people sleeping and yell at them till they woke up. Bro, he was demon mode. He was de he was on demon mode. Ultimately, look, it's not fucking cruel. It's not evil. He's just doing it for content. I think uh, uh, JJ is like uh, a different guy than KSI. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think if you fucking meet JJ, like, the, you know, the, the human behind, he's like a very fucking sweet, very nice guy. I think he was like super nice to all the staff who work there. He's actually a really cool dude. But KSI... He turns on some fucking demon mode. You know what I mean? Block on top. Now, obviously, the plan for Giant Jenga was to be a more extreme version of the game. But the tower was getting so tall, they couldn't even reach the top with a ladder. Oh, that is the most rickety ladder I've seen in my life. And because there was now a limit to how high... Oh, for that. I'm speechless. I don't know what's going on. I think it's fair. No fair. No, Jay back in. I'm just saying, bro, that's the game. Team Prime, we got this. Logan, smash this. Because that last game took hours, and I can't hold these YouTubers hostage forever, we pivoted to normal Jenga. Yes, I messed up. Um, pull your first block. Let's do this. Okay. Immediately, the games began, and we're moving quickly. And soon, things started to get competitive. Now, these Jenga games got so wild. And everybody played by, like, house rules. So whatever team you were in had different rules. Some people played in a way where, like, you could move the blocks. Like, you see these two blocks here. You could move them, like, next to each other and then make it so one is in the middle and then you pull out the other one. Does that make sense? Like, you could literally move the blocks, which in a lot of, like, most rule sets would be illegal, right? But, but it was, like, house rules. Are you kidding me? But suddenly it made the games go for hours. It's not lame if both people play it. It's not lame. It's lame if one person plays it, but if both people play it, it's just a different way to play, you know? Something unexpected happened. Oh, what the? Nico's got a great video idea if he wins this, so um, I want him to go out there and actually give it a try. Because of the way this challenge Chunks, works, real some of these creators accidentally paired themselves with their closest allies, and therefore... He was the best man of my wedding. He flew 27 hours to be here. Yeah. ...were even willing to sacrifice themselves for their friends. I'm gonna cry, man. Oh, my God. This is how the UK does it. You gotta do it for your boys. You gotta be selfless. You gotta just say, you know what? Let him play. By this point, the towers had gotten so big. She can't pull from the top two. Oh! That even breathing on them the wrong way would cause them to collapse, costing the loser subscribers a million dollars. Nope. Okay. Me and Charlie were, of course, paired up against each other. One had to go out. As I said earlier, Charlie wasn't, like, trying to go for 48 hours. Like, if it happened, it happened. But when we found out that we were against each other, he was like, you know what, man? Uh, like, I'll probably let you have this one, right? He was like, in the same way that Chunks was, you know, down to, to bow out, he was down to bow out for me, which was really nice. <laughs> but <laughs> he was like, let's play for a little bit. And I was like, sure. And Charlie did this thing. I was playing the Jenga, and it's like really nerve-wracking, right? So I'm like slowly like fucking taking a piece. And I'm doing this. And, and he's right next to me. He's like right back here. And then he just, while I'm doing this, he goes, huh! Loud as fuck. Bro, my hand, I go, 
I almost knocked the tower down. I was like, Charlie, what? We just talked about this. He was like, it would have been really funny, though. I'm like, yeah, but uh, fuck. Fuck. Um, but I have to admit, in the same way, Jaden, right, kind of let me get the pass on the first challenge. Charlie let me get the pass here. And I moved through this contest from 50 down to 17, really, from just some good friends, as opposed to me doing anything impressive. That wasn't even close. It's impossible. That was it's done for me. Jinga got me. Yep, wait, oh, wait. shit. And upon elimination after elimination. After I think Charlie was down to go out. Like, I think he would have stayed if, you know, he won, of course. But I think he was down to go out because he, I don't know if you saw his YouTube channel. He filmed, like, a video, like, 24 hours in the woods with Mr. B. He filmed, like, a bunch of videos there. Uh, and he, he had his whole group there. Elimination. We were coming down to the end of this challenge. I'm earning this million, fam. I mean, bro, it's, you got one move. Dude, damn, man. Logan, he flew here all the way from India, and you eliminated him. It was very fun, man. What do you think about us passing T-Series? Whoever crosses, I think it's for the YouTube community. Whoever is the first needs to be respected. Well, that's good. Carrie's are actually a really cool guy. I had never met him. I didn't know about him. He's massive, like 40-something million subscribers. Uh, really nice guy. Oh, okay. Since 2014, How are you doing? I am very happy. Oh, uh, now I wish you would have won. <laughs> 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 Look at my dumb ass in the background. I was so eepy. Let's go. Since 2014. <laughs> How are you doing? I am very happy. Oh, uh, now I wish you would have won. <laughs> the last tower standing was without a doubt the most competitive game we had. Pull that bad boy. Oh. These two were at it for more than two hours longer than the rest of the YouTubers. That now, he's not lying. This game went about three and a half hours total. Uh, we were up until about 4 a.m. because of Jenga, and we started at about 9 p.m. That's crazy. And everybody was terrified of this guy. I believe his name is like, oh, shit. Uh, L, L, it's like El Dino or something. N -L -D yeah, N L Dino. Now, everyone was terrified of him because of this. There's a video he made playing Jenga on his channel. Apparently, he's done a good amount of Jenga content. Like, if I lose Jenga, I shave bald, you know, whatever. And But people knew about this, and they thought that he was a professional Jenga player. And so they were like, oh, no. It's the professional Jenga player against Quackity. I watched one of his videos after the fact. Hey. Ah. 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 They're not professional fucking Jenga players. It's just content. <laughs> like, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Uh, but their match was insane. Oh. Oh. Were you allowed to have your phone? Good question. No. But they did have Samsung phones to vlog on, and all the apps were disabled. But I know how to use a Samsung phone, so I enabled YouTube, and then I watched YouTube videos to fall asleep. I didn't tell anyone about this until now. Thank you, Samsung. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You got it. Yoink. Oh, no. 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 Challenge three is officially over. Like, look how big these YouTubers are. We don't notice sometimes because, you know, we can live in an English speaking bubble. He has 36 million subscribers. 36 million, dude. That's crazy, you know? Like, the, the non-English speaking creators are massive. Ebay, yesterday, getting 3 point whatever, 6 million viewers. Like, and with that, let's bring in the bets. That's 7x years. Okay, don't have to fucking, they, thank you. Thank you, Einstein, for the math. Chill. We don't have to fucking do all that. Okay, everyone has beds. We'll see you in the morning for the fourth challenge. Uh, they were very nice to us. If this was a regular Mr. Beast challenge, they would have made him sleep on the floor. They gave us, like, bath kits. They gave us a nice dinner. The only thing that kind of sucked was the porter potty because it felt very public because you could hear everyone. And so if you suffer from pee shyness, otherwise known as pieresis, it can be a little frightening. Um, but, but it wasn't too bad.
I think I took a I think I took a, a shit at one point. I don't know why I shared that, but I did do that. Yeah, it was YouTuber privilege. We had like uh they even okay, I'll say this. Everyone here, because like we didn't know how long we would be in there. They gave us 15 minutes of phone time. It felt like summer camp. They came into the bucket with all our phones. They're like, okay, 15 minutes of phone time because you aren't allowed to bring your phones in. I think some people snuck them in, but most people didn't. So that so we got our phones, and I like I called Cutie. I'm like, hi, hi, babe. I'm still in the competition. I'm doing pretty well. And then I was like, they're coming back to collect the phones. I got to go. And then I whip out my Samsung phone. <laughs> I'm watching YouTube videos the whole night. They didn't know that. They didn't know that. And a little more than 15 minutes I did. And that concludes the first 24 hours of this challenge. And I'm gonna be honest, it's actually pretty crazy. All these YouTubers are just casually sleeping next to one million dollars in cash. And by the end of this video, it could quite literally be yours. Hey, yo! Good morning, love guy. What's poppin'? Oh my god, that's that is a horrifying thing to hear first thing in the morning. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's that was a stuff of nightmares. Takes me back. I'm getting like tingles, bro. <laughs> Ohio. Ohio. It's good morning. Ohio. Time to lock in and do it for the subscribers. Good morning. Good morning. I have a surprise for all of you. Is it our families? Yeah. It's better than your families. Oh no. And for those of you who don't know who my friend Speed is, he's one of the largest creators on the entire planet. And he was supposed to be here over 24 hours ago. However, Speed's plane just landed. He's ridiculously late. And uh, I wanted to give you guys the option. If you want to allow him in and play alongside one of your fellow creators. Or if you want him just to hop back on the plane and head out. It's up to you yeah! guys. This community, we're about inclusion. And no one knows. <laughs> I said no way too fast to that. <laughs> he said inclusion. I go, no, no. Yeah. This community, we're about inclusion. And he knows nothing about life size jams. He hasn't softened. Oh, come on, bro. Look at that mullet on him. <laughs> He's already fucking, man. I think it's time. Go on the left if you want. Now, look. I made the argument, and I think Kai really expressed it better than I did, that basically speed was fresh. He was ready to go. He hadn't spent 24 hours in the cube. We were kind of exhausted. We didn't sleep very well in that cube. They kept the fucking lights on. They flew drones to do 360 shots at like 7 in the morning. Like, it was not a great experience, you know, living in there. And he came from, like, you know, probably fresh-ass fucking hotel or whatever. So it didn't make sense in any challenge that's going to come up to have him go against us. You want him in? Go on the right if you don't. We all do it together. Get back on that plate. <laughs> Riku's funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's final. Speed, they don't want you here. All right, this will be the last time you see them. <laughs> so y'all gonna get out. I remember all y'all faces. Should have thought about that. That was you. And with that. Okay, before he left, he was like, dab me up. And so I went to dab him up. And like, we had a chain of people holding me because I thought that he was gonna try to pull me out the cube. Bro, he dapped me up so hard, it broke skin. Like, his nail, he went like a fucking bare fist in, tried to pull me out. Speed did this, tried to pull me out. I had five guys, and he was pulling the line. It broke skin. I'm, 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 I'm basically recovered by now, but this was a gruesome injury. I mean, it almost took me out. I'm lucky to be here, so. That. Bring in the fourth challenge. Is it just speed again? Oh, no. Bring him on in. Deal or no deal? <laughs> Almost immediately, everyone began to pick up on what the next challenge was. What do you think's in the briefcase? Eliminated and stay in boxes. Bring out Howie Mandel, please. And considering the last time we played this game, it was such a massive fan favorite. I knew we not only had to bring back the game, but also the face of the game one more time. Howie! Howie! Howie. Give me! Well, it's been a while. Wow. It's like I'm live scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> I need whoever has the most subscribers to come up here. Now, the subscriber counts were a little rigged. You see Logan touch Rubius here. Rubius technically has way more subscribers than Logan. I think Logan, he, his uh, count is accurate. It's like 20 million or something. Uh, Rubius on his main channel has uh, 40 million subscribers. But his live channel or his like gaming channel or whatever, like his Twitch highlights channel has 12 million. And they had the 12 million number on his jersey. So Logan went first. Oh. 
has the most? Don't even look at me. Oh. Logan, I guess you have the most. Not all the numbers were right, for sure. Before I explain the rules, you have to pick a competitor. I gotta go with you, Sam. All right. I now nah, I don't think that was rigged. I don't need you to pick a briefcase. I think Any it's number. Fun. I'll go with lucky number 11. Seven of these briefcases say eliminated. The rest are safe. Logan is going to look inside the briefcase, and then Sam is going to have to decide, does he want to steal it or let Logan keep it? Does In the classic sense? game of steal or no steal. There we go. How is that? He said the Pretty simple game. Uh, we played it on unpaid intern. It is, what's that? What's it called? Two eggs and a carrot. Carrot in a box. Carrot in a box. Uh, it's it's from a British game show. It's a good game. The thing. This case is not safe. Oh, dang. Do you trust what he's saying? I don't. What I would say? steal. Really? Steal or no steal? I'm going to go with steal. You're going to steal it. Did Sam make the right choice? The Sam and Colby channel is now officially eliminated. Now, I thought up to this point that this contest was rigged for Logan Paul. After this happened, I knew that the contest wasn't rigged for Logan. Because there's no way that, like, you know, he was in on that and Sam knew to, like, save him. And if he had said uh, no steal, then Logan would have been out. But I do think that Logan knew about the challenges. And we'll get to that in a moment. And now that Logan's case has been stolen, he will continue to play until someone doesn't steal his case. Who do you want to go up against now? Kai. Kai. What number do you Dude, want? Dude, Kai, Kai went crazy here. Let's go, Kai. I want to make sure no one can see what's in this. Kai, look at me. Also not safe. Uh, not safe? Do you think he's being honest? I'm gonna go with Steel, and let me tell you why. Oh, didn't even ask him anything. Growing up, I've been watching Logan since he started YouTube. I know he acts in such situations. You can't fool me, bro. You're yes. that confident. Briefcase, how you open this? You, uh... It is... Stay. Oh. He read Logan like a book. Oh my god. Wow. That's a fucking my great read. racing so fast right now. Ludwig, you want it, it's you, it's you. For this one, Logan, because you said your heart was racing, do you mind putting on this Samsung Galaxy ring? I don't mind. I want to measure your heart rate. And Luddy, yeah. do you mind putting this ring on? Yeah, no worries. I feel like my mic was fucked up the whole time. By the way, <laughs> they didn't know. Athlete's heart rate. Be able to see it in real time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're going to use the Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> that's, that line is crazy. Who wrote the yeah, that's right line? This ring on? Yeah, no worries. We'll be able to see it in real time. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. that's right. We're going to use the <laughs> Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 to track the player's heart rates as they try to bluff each other. Logan's 106 right now. <laughs> Ludwig's 87. Regardless of what I see in here, I'm going to ask you to keep this case. Ludwig's getting a bit stressed. What? I got a little stressed out when he started his new saying to keep stuff. Surely the best man. I don't know why my mic was so fucked the whole time. They didn't tell me anything was wrong with it, but it does sound worse than everyone's. Oh, it. Maybe it's because of my chain? I don't know, though. I guess. I didn't even see it. Can I keep it? What is happening in your own heart? Carl, actually, what is happening here? It's going crazy, I'm gonna be honest. It's at 103 right now. Okay, okay. this one word <laughs> will change the life of a follower. A million dollars. He's good. He's doing the thing. Steal or no steal. No steal. Logan Paul is safe. I'm ready. I'm ready. There's only one case for me. I know. Case 14. All right, we don't even now, so what happened is Logan wanted to keep it, and I respected his wishes. I let him keep it. All right? And it turned out that that was safe, and he went through. Which I feel fine about doing. I would have hated if I got eliminated going against someone's wishes. So, like, being the bad guy and then also being out, which could have happened. I did not want to do that. I just respected his wishes, which I also did for Laser Beam here because Laser Beam's lucky number was 14. He said, I want case 14. Nobody take that case from me. And I said, Laser, I will pick you. I will pull the case open. I won't look at it and I'll let you keep it, which is exactly what happened here. I don't have to look at it. I want it. I'm stealing it. I traveled 27 hours to be here. And let's see if it was all for nothing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh! There's your lucky case. 27 hours. It's nice seeing the eliminated cases go. This is so heartbreaking. Which was pure fucking luck. Laser!
Yeah, dude, that dude, I you know what? I think Jimmy knew your fucking favorite number and scammed you. I'm not gonna lie, man. I I'm I'm I've become full tinfoil hat. This Trump shooting's got me wild. <laughs> but I, I'm going crazy on this bitch. All right. It's rigged for Logan, rigged against you, buddy. I'm starting to see the lines. What a time to click on the stream. That's the YouTube algorithm throwing hate on you. Just uh don't hit a kangaroo on your way home. I, I fucking hate Nolan. I don't like you, Nolan. <laughs> And the brutality of these cases didn't stop there. So uh, they skipped through a bunch of them, which I think is good because it was going pretty long. But these were very tense. I ended up winning by having my case against Jaden Animations. It was safe. I saw that it was safe and I didn't say a word to her. She was like, what's in the case, Ludwig? And I, I, I didn't, bro, I fucking, I, I stonewalled her. I didn't say a fuck. I ignored her. Howie Mandel started to get mad at me. This is all not in the video. He was literally like, so you're not going to say anything? Like, the whole point of the video is you say something. I'm like, nope, not saying a word. I'm not saying, there's no fucking point in me saying something right now. She can choose steal or no steal. I don't give a fuck. I'm not saying a word. I didn't say a drop. And it was safe, and I was able to get through, uh, which was clutch. And then Jaden got through on a really sick call. Uh, I don't like against you, Nolan. Quackity, I think. And the brutality of these cases didn't stop there. Oh. No steal. Go, I'm going thinking of the 10 gifted man. Most brutal was yet to come. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. oh I feel stabbed. I do. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I don't want to uh. lie. <sighs> okay, they kind of glazed over this. The most brutal was yet to come. Okay, this moment right here was kind of fucking nuts. Because uh, what happened is Rubius, they skipped through this entire like side plot. Basically, you know Nico? Nico, the guy who got sketch out? Nico picked AJ, which is like one of his friends. I think they're in beta squad together. He picked AJ. He opened up a case. It said eliminated, right? So Nico does this. He opens up a case. It says eliminated. He's in, in charge. And he goes, AJ, this says eliminated. I'm showing you. This is the case. Do not steal it. I want you to keep going in this contest. And basically, like, threw his body on the grenade for AJ to move on. But just because Nico got eliminated didn't mean that AJ got to move on. So then when it was AJ's turn, he looked at the case and then uh, uh, Rubius was like, if it's safe, bro, I will let you keep it. And so AJ does the same thing. He goes, it is safe. Here's the case. Rubius goes, bro, you can keep the case. That is your case. And, and he fucking, he let him. It was actually a really homie move. And then right after Rubius goes up, Ray goes up. So Rubius opens up a case, and he's like, Ray, whatever it is, I will tell you with 100% honesty, and you can trust my word, and then move on, right? So Rubius, after doing this really nice guy move, says that to Ray, okay? And, and then and he gets the case. He goes, what he said exactly, he goes, because he got the Japanese voice actor of Naruto to be the dub for his voice in the contest in this exact moment, and he said, that is my dream come true. Ray, whatever this is, I will tell you. If it's safe, I'll tell you. So he goes, this is safe, Ray. Uh, or no, he goes, this is an eliminated case, Ray. Don't steal this from me. And then he fucking lied to me. The most brutal was yet to come. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. I feel stabbed. I do. Because she would have been safe. He said he was going to tell her what it was. All right? It was safe. He said it was eliminated. She said no steal. He got to stay in the competition. And then she had to go in the hot seat. And after he did this really nice guy move, everybody trusted him. And then he did the fucking... Yeah, that was great. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Deal. Because the most brutal was yet to... He did the fucking troll face. <laughs> and then that's why we had this insane reaction. Oh this is why we are all losing our fucking mind. Is because he had done that insane betrayal after doing such a nice thing. And then out of nowhere, Ray started crying. Like, she started tearing up. It wasn't like full-blown crying. But she started tearing up. But she had to go right in to the next case. I don't want to lie. <sighs> you don't want to look at her in the eyes when yep. she opens it? Oh, God. It says eliminated. <laughs> Maybe she's telling the truth. I think she's acting. Oh. Steal or no steal? Steal. She's smiling. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. What did she just do? Oh, 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 oh. Holy crap! Her heart rate 
rate got up to 152. <laughs> She's a demon. And even though she was lying. Now, French people can read emotions. They have a higher emotional intelligence on average. It's just a fact. You can look it up. So that's why uh, uh, Amik Sem was able to read that from Ray. But I feel so bad for what Ray went through here. Because she was basically promised a free ticket on. She got scammed out of it. Then she tried to use that emotion to, like, trick uh, Amik Sem to move on. Got hard red. And she's still not out. So she has to pick another case I and do. another person. Valkyrie wasn't afraid to start playing that game herself with only two eliminates and three saves left. So now she has another chance to be deceptive. What I just watched, I'm shook. That's crazy. You can't trust anyone. <laughs> you look concerned. Last time she was crying. No, she's the happiest I've ever seen This her. is crazy. It is Why safe. Steal or no steal? I am going to steal. I'm going to let the audience react. Three, two, one. What? And it was safe. She totally mixed up her strategy. Dude, she's still in the blender. She's gone through three different case openings. Now a fourth case opening. Oh my God. She's good. These are the four remaining contestants. Only two safes and two elimination remains. I'll do it. While she's grabbing her briefcase, Marquez, what do you think of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6? Oh, it's convenient you pick me for this one. It looks pretty good. Anyways, let's get back to this. <laughs> if you want to monitor your own heart rate and track your steps, check out the Samsung Galaxy Ring and the Samsung Galaxy Z. Thank you, the 20 six. gifted traveling team. Do you team. want what's in that case? No. I feel like the last two, it seemed like you, you pushed a safe pretty quickly. And I don't think you'd do that three times in a row. No steal. You read me like a book. Dude, I felt so bad, bro. She got so mixed. She got rolled four times in a row, back to back to back to back. I haven't seen someone lose four times in a row that badly since the Buffalo Bills went to four back to back to back to back Super Bowls, losing every single one. There's only one eliminated left. You were my team captain. I trust you. I got the last eliminated. If they had trust, he would show her the case right now. I don't think he's telling the truth. Steal or no steal? Okay, no steal. If this says eliminate, they both move on. Can you trust MKBHD? Oh! He doesn't know how to lie. And these were the two that weren't chosen going open on. If you never steal, you have a 100% chance of being safe because even if the other person gets safe, you stay in the challenge. Stealing is pointless. If you never steal, no. Because if you don't steal, then you go in the hot seat and you automatically get the next case. Or you get left with the last cases, which could be eliminate. That's just wrong. But thank you for the five. The votes will be safe. Okay. And after that, because you swap from person who decides, here's where you're mixed up. You have to swap from person who decides steal or no steal to the hot seat on the person who gets to look at the case. So you only get to pick steal or no steal one time. You don't get to pick infinite times. On bath, these 10 are what remain. And only one of them can win their subscribers the million dollar prize. Anyway. I'm in the fucking top 10, baby! Let's go! Top 10, and this is the first time I actually earned a win in a challenge. Because the other challenges, you know, I got kind of carried through. So it felt good to, to actually get there based off my own, you know, grit. Think of the 50 gifted Ebony Tunnel. I don't feel good. I can't do this, bro. I can barely move, bro. This is where the game kind of gets hard because now we got to eliminate our new acquaintances. Now... Let's continue on my thread of the Logan Paul conspiracy theory. Because Logan Paul released a video about this entire challenge. And that can take it. And in it, he talks a bit about the rigging of it, I believe. I haven't seen his whole video, but I saw a clip from it right here. Point where people realized that I had not. What remain? Woo! Yeah. Look, I think I got lucky in that game. I started with the strategy and it kind of just went to sh that, oh, yeah, I got lucky. But I think this was the point where people realized that I had not rigged the game. I didn't have any inside information. I thought this was rigged for you. Uh, what do you mean? Like the whole I challenge? Was, like, you in case I knew, like, what's going to come up and stuff. I'm telling you now, because that last one was. Oh, yeah, no, it's I just odd. No, everyone here has been great. Also, I got to, like, squash a few beefs. You did? Yeah. Like, bro, him, Moist Critical, Matt Pat, they've all, like, made, like, a series of videos. Like, 
Guilty. Okay, actually, it wasn't me. That was Mogul Mail. Different guy. Different guy. What the heck? I don't even know that guy. What the fuck? <laughs> Talking mad. Like they're on that wave. It's like, I don't take it personal, bro. I, I, I get it. And to be clear, I wasn't talking shit. He had done a scam with CryptoZoo and had, like, you know, put people out, I think, the equivalent of almost 2 million USD. And then at this point, I believe he had paid back about, like, 1.2 million, uh, something like that, uh, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, what I didn't know or actually hadn't happened at this time, uh, Logan Paul since this video was filmed has sued coffeezilla or at least someone from his team has sued coffeezilla for defamation uh which i don't know if that is like a strong arm tactic i don't know if he actually feels like coffeezilla defamed him uh but to me that's like a crazy thing to do because in another video, I believe Logan Paul, after the Crypto Zoo scam, thanked CoffeeZilla for, like, making him aware of it and, like, you know, bringing attention to the victims. And then, on the other hand, like, sued him behind closed doors, uh, which I, th I think is pretty fucked. Uh, I talked to Logan. I think it might even be in this video. Like, I talked to him. He, he was, because uh, I think there was, like, a moment. He, he had, like, access to all the footage and like made this video right here, I think. Intense. Hi, bro. Good luck, everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ludwig, forgive me, bro. You're a streamer? Mm -hmm. Bro, you're, you're hilarious. I don't know how I haven't seen your stuff. I find you so funny. What kind of stuff you do? Uh, it's mostly like gaming sh Although I have a commentary channel. You'll find videos about you. I have to warn you ahead of time. I feel like I could probably even guess that. <laughs> I told Moist, I was like, bro, I don't take it personal. I like your content. And I'm sure I like yours too, bro. I think there were 17 of us left. And I just told him outright, I felt wrong talking to someone without them for sure having the knowledge that I've like, you know, said negative things about them or at least critiqued things they've done. I felt like that would have been too two-faced. So I told him, uh which I think was normal to do. And I actually, like, asked him uh, quite a few questions about, like, different things. And I'm not, like, here to, like, put those private conversations on blast. I know he has revealed some of those convos and technically all of its film. But I won't, like, bring up, I guess, things that I asked him. But there are some things that he's done that I was, like, you know, like, fucking living in Puerto Rico. Like, vague things, right? Uh, so I asked him about that. Um, but I do think it's fucked because it didn't happen at the time of this filming but after that he's suing CoffeeZilla. I don't understand it. I think it's, I, I would, I, I hope he makes some statement about why he's doing it or retracts it. You know, benefit of the doubt, it's someone on his team. But I think CoffeeZilla is one of the few YouTubers in like this commentary space who does a very good job, not just in terms of like video quality, but like journalistic quality. Uh, Cause like, I'm not doing that. Like I just fucking rehash already written articles from other journalists and condense it in a way for people to appreciate i'm not finding new info so i think that's i think that's fucked uh of him anyway that's it just wanted to fucking get my piece in there and that kind of sucks so after that challenge i thought to myself this isn't rigged for logan paul because that was luck he totally could have got eliminated until this next challenge now time for the fifth challenge. Switch the floor. There are five pairs of two dots. I once again need you all to pair up into groups of two. And this time, you'll be working together. You want to take the risk? I'm down, I'm down. You got this? I got this. Kai, you trust this man with a million bucks? It's my brother. I trust Kai. Why you two? The female right. bond. <laughs> you two been getting along well? Yeah, because all my friends out and he speaks French. All right, Carl. Why? So some teams form naturally. I paired up with Amix M because he speaks French. He was also having a really hard time. It's obviously not in this video, but he has Crohn's disease. And if you know anyone in your life with Crohn's disease, it can be very difficult to deal with, especially when you don't have like access to the appropriate nutrition and like, you know, medication or whatever. And he didn't in this box just as a cause of being equipped with, you know, whatever they fucking gave us. So like he, he was in and out of the porta potty. He was like really having some major stomach pains. Uh, and so I, I teamed with him, you know, the girls teamed together. Uh, but Logan teamed with Nick the Giovanni, a very popular, famous, and impressive YouTube chef who was a former winner of MasterChef. 
and let's take a look at the next challenge. Blindfold them all. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Dark in here. Now that everyone is blindfolded, bring in the set. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. This room hey, is being bro. transformed right now. I lean to my left. There is something hard. No. What do you think's going on? Sorry, he was a finalist, not a winner of MasterChef. Correction. I smell a bit of gas. I touch here, it's cloth. Yep. Jimmy, is this an Hey, thing? stop touching okay. You, I asked you. All right, everybody, remove your blindfold. No. 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 Bro, it was a cooking challenge. He's teamed with Nick the Giovanni. It's a cooking challenge. Hold up, FaZe Banks is face on me. Yo, what up? I'm live. Sea Dog VA, Connor. Dog VA, yeah, okay, cool. And me when you're done, when you're. All right, I'll call you. I'll call you. I'm trying to get Phase to do like a uh, like a stream where they all make paintings for Connor's charity auction stream. If you guys don't know about it, uh, real quick, little plug. Sea Dog is doing a charity auction stream this Friday. Uh, he does uh, a bunch of charity work. You've probably seen his cyclothon for uh, the Immune Deficiency Foundation. Uh, and, and there's one this Friday. It's a charity auction. Uh, it should be really fucking hype. It's going to start at 2 p.m. Pacific this Friday. Please check it out. Mark it on your calendars. If you don't have cash, even being a viewer, like, really helps bring attention to shit like that. Uh, even if you don't, like, bid on anything. Uh, so I'm trying to get as many people as possible to, like, you know, be a part of it or whatever. As I'm sure you all piece together, this is a team cooking challenge. Let's go, baby. Let's go. By the way, this floor change fucking blew my mind. Blew my mind. Go, baby. Let's go, baby. I am terrified. I can't cook. Bro, how'd you end up with Nick? Yeah, that is a good question. Jimmy, how did he end up with Nick? He said it. That's crazy. I'm cooked. Oh, you've cooked before? Uh, no, I'm cooked. Oh, he's with this cooked. Challenge. Bro, the best things I cook is eggs, toast, and cereal. We've hey. been on a cooking team before. We have, we have, we've been on a cooking team hey, before. So you have some lost. experience. No, we did bad. We did bad. We just don't do that again. We will be bringing in three judges. They will the floor was a screen. Yeah, it was really warm. So people, if you notice, always hang out on the edges. It's not because the wall to lean up against. It's because the floor was warm because of the technology or whatever, the fucking screens. Rate all your meals on a scale of one to ten. The three teams with the highest ratings move on. The two teams with the lowest ratings are eliminated. Bring out our first judge. Joey Chestnut! No way! Oh. Joey! What better man to judge your food than the literal best eater on the planet? He this was like two weeks before he got banned from eating in the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. God shame you, Nathan's Hot Dogs, for banning the American Patriot Joey Chestnut, and I look forward to his match against Kobayashi on Netflix. Broke so many food world records that Guinness gave him a world record for breaking the most world records. And now, for our second judge, Miranda Cosgrove. Oh. Yeah! Hi, Carly. You my mind. Kai was excited about that I'm one. I'm excited, bro. Our third. Okay, Miranda is not featured a lot in this video. She is literally one of the fucking sweetest humans I've ever met. And I mean that, like, so sincerely. It, it, it like, it, it's actually crazy. She's, like, I don't know how she went through Hollywood as a child actress. Because she was in School of Rock, dude. When she was, like, nine or some shit. Like, I don't know if you guys remember School of Rock. She's in that movie with Jack Black. And then obviously she's on like Drake and Josh I Carly or whatever. Dude, she is so sweet. It's crazy. What a nice human. And final judge. Bring him on out. He needs no introduction. I oh, show the speed. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch this. That's all I gotta say. The time has officially started. You guys can cook anything you want. This so it's a one hour cooking challenge. All right, I'm going up against Nick DiGiovanni. Two teams are eliminated, which makes our odds a little bit better, right? You know, you have a more than 50% chance to pass. But I show speeds one of the judges who, as we remember, I voted to not join the box. And he knows my face because he dapped me up and tried to pull me out right as he was leaving. This time is going to go by way faster than you think. On top of that, your dish will be judged on taste, creativity, and presentation. Now, one problem is my partner was Amik Sam. And you might think to yourself, oh, Ludwig, you paired up with a Frenchman. He probably knows how to cook, right? He's French. Wrong! He had fucking Crohn's disease, bro. Which means he eats, like, you know, seven meals that he's allowed to eat. He can't cook for shit! He can't cook for shit! And I can't cook for shit! I was so stressed, man. The race has begun. Let's see what they whip up. And I, Carly, her older brother Spencer, love eating spaghetti tacos. Spaghetti tacos was the... What are you two making? 
We are making a cordon bleu, which is a French dish. What are you two making? Chocolate cake, uh, some mac and cheese. Now, so my brain thought of the only thing that I know how to make that's like semi-palatable, and that's fried chicken. Like, I know how to make, not fried chicken, sorry, breaded chicken. I know how to make breaded chicken. You get a fucking chicken breast, you pound that shit a little bit flat, you put it in egg wash, you put it in flour, you, or maybe it's the reverse order. I don't fucking know. Then you put some cornflakes on it because that can work as like, you know, the, the breading or whatever. That breaded chicken, bang. And then I was like, oh, wait, we can call it cordon bleu, which is a very popular French dish where you stuff a chicken with ham and cheese by just putting some ham and cheese on it. And they won't fucking know because nobody in the judging panel is probably French. That was my theory, at least. And because we have two French people on the team, if we make the dish seem very French, then we probably will will get a pass. Right. Okay. Oh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. I'm trying to do a Spanish tortilla, and he's trying to do a fire rice. Clashing two countries together to make a war a war in their dish. mouth oh my gosh this looks good already there's just onions and some spices this man was mentored by gordon ramsay so basically there's only four slots besides these two it's gonna be so embarrassing if the it's crazy nick giovanni was still in and it was a cooking contest that's so crazy man it... <laughs> two women get eliminated for cooking no it's not <laughs> four slots besides these two it's gonna be so embarrassing if the two women get eliminated for cooking no it's not because women do more than cook so for dessert we're making chocolate covered strawberries i'm really hungry I'm like, I can't wait to eat. Like, <laughs> get ready to put everything down okay okay please 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 oh okay it looks good should i have those cheese yo 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 bro you gotta hold this a million dollars is riding on this. Three. Dude, I, I, like, I know I'm harping on it, but Nick Giovanni in a cooking contest against the other, like, four groups is like if he said, hey, guys, we're playing Getting Over It by Bennett Foddy. Who can beat it the fastest? It, it's so catered to one person. It's crazy. Two, one. Stop what you're doing. The time is officially up. They're going first. What we're eating tonight is a French cordon bleu. Dude, listen to that fucking crunch. Now, I, I had a good strat here. So what we did is I basically made a cordon bleu. It, it was breaded chicken with a piece of ham and cheese that I folded in, like, in between. And then I just made asparagus that I sauteed in about 40 pounds of butter. Because if you make anything with butter and salt, it will taste good. I actually like those. Yeah, the, the asparagus are good. Whatever you judges are ready. I'll start. That's wow, really good. Whoa, a nine. He cleaned his fucking plate, bro. He ate the whole thing. Whoa. Whoa, these are high numbers. Whoa. Whoa. Your total score was 26. All right. I was, I was genuinely so fucking proud of myself for making a palatable meal. I'm not, I'm by no means a good cook whatsoever. But that meal, I know was good. I put the chicken in the oven after to keep it warm throughout the challenge. That's why you heard that crunch at the end. I'm sure the chicken was a bit dry. Uh, like it wasn't 10 out of 10 meal, but like it, that shit was fire. I made it for myself and cutie the, the, when I, the day I came back just to try it. And I was like, damn, bitch, I went crazy. Gum gum. Think of the 10 gifted. Are you yeah. I, I, I make some helped a lot. I make some helped a lot. I mean, he was, he was half the team. He just wasn't knowledgeable at all about how to cook. Like we were cooking the asparagus and he was like, I, I, I will put water in the pan so it can steam a bit. And then we just had soggy asparagus. I'm like, bro, what are we doing here? He didn't know that cornflakes could be used as breading. He was like, that's cereal. You can't use, you can't use cornflakes. And, and I showed him the back of the box of cornflakes has a recipe for fucking chicken. You guys ready? That was a yeah. little intimidating, but... Bring it on up. All right. We wanted to go with American comfort food. I don't want to hype y'all up until I've of tasted course. it. Yeah. But I think it's going to taste all right. Amazing. Joey, when you're ready. Whoa! That was delicious! Joey! I love him! Speed, based on that reaction, I assume you're gonna give something lower? Their strategy was pretty goaded. They not only made a pasta dish, they also made a dessert. Which is like super fucking smart. I didn't think about that. Making like, you know, two courses. Miranda, you go. Nine. Yes, oh. thank you. Are you about to cry? Don't do this to me. Hey, don't manipulate. Don't, no. Speed, vote based on the food. I need you to turn around. Speed, hey, hey, me. focus. <laughs> She's such a demon, bro. That's fair, that's fair. Oh. That Speed definitely dropped his score because Joey's was high. I think he would have given an eight if Joey gave a nine. That is also a 26. You're tripping, bro. A team? You can't just... 
pass out tears like that because you like to eat, bro. But I, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Welcome to Kai and AJ Ratatouille Bonega. <laughs> First things up, Miranda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have the famous, uh -huh. the one and only, uh -huh. Spencer Ooh. Spaghetti Taco. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty creative. That's pretty These guys are two of the funniest motherfuckers on the planet. The, dude, this routine uh, slayed. They did a like an eight minute intro. I they cut a lot of it out of this video, of course, but like they had everybody fucking knee slapping. They're so funny, dude. Wow. AJ, who do we have in the middle? I so oh, speed. I so speed. Who is the best football player of all time? Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo Foster. Just for you. Don't tell him too much. Now listen. What? Don't tell him too much. Last but not least, Joey. The Tower of Record! Record Tower! When you eat it, yeah, you can feel it. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! Oh, oh my god! I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm gonna finish this. No, you're good, you're good. Are you hungry? You just came up a good stream. <laughs> you busting that down, boy. Bro. Oh, oh, wait, good, bro. wait, wait, wait. Hey, really? Really? <laughs> All right. And Miranda! It's a solid spaghetti taco. I love the show, but at the end of the day, it's about the food. It's about the food. Okay, three, two, one, reveal it. Oh. The routine was fire. Their food was ass. It's unlucky, bro, because they, they are like, man, Kai, I've never seen a more like made entertainer. You know what I mean? Like that bro's just made to entertain when he's a group of people. Uh, an AJ too. So, but that was uh, they, they not not made to cook. <laughs> not made to cook. Damn, that food was ass. That shit was ass. You know, entertainers though for sure, hundred percent. Hundred, give that to them. Row row pants. Thank you for the five gifted men. Ooh. Whoa. There we go. All right, take it away. We made a creamy chicken tomato pasta. This was a dessert inspired by my father. He's not here with us. Like in this room, he's still very much alive. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, kind of hurtful for people in the room who might not. <clears throat> it's like exquisite, you know? <laughs> it's like a lemon punch of meat. The meat. It's meat punch of meat. It's good. I don't want to eat really too much. Oh, yeah, here, I'll move okay. these four. Wow. Dude, they made like this fucking restaurant quality pasta dish, and then they made fucking freeze dried. Stri wow. Gotta save. Feastables and oh, strawberries yeah, taste amazing. It's very they use feastables to make a fucking strawberry chocolate fucking with freeze-dried strawberry. What the fuck? Yeah, you should go to Walmart and buy it right now, whoever's watching this. I'll, I'll do it right after this. I want to eat more of it. I really liked it. That's something that I will order. Like yeah. Speed, not to cut you off, but that's officially above 16, which means these two have now been eliminated. Gentlemen, Miranda doesn't even need to vote. You guys are gone. I I'm sorry, but it's over. Yeah. All right, what was your... Thank you to 10 Gifted. I appreciate that, Zoe. Rating? 10. 10. 29, dude. Almost a perfect score. 29. Wait, 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 wait. One time for the one time, please. It's been so long. Oh! oh. 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 Wait, you just left. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, I... I couldn't resist throwing a plate. That was a complete mistake. Bro, I forgot all about the line. I saw the plate. I was like, I need to smash it. It took me back to 2017. Yeah, when you I used to smash plates in your vlogs. <laughs> Will it make you feel better if I let you promote Prime on your way out? Sure. Prime, the fastest growing beverage in history, available at Walmart Target. Oh, I'm shocked, but also not. I hope Jimmy invites me back. But when he first ran out, I was like, oh, that's funny. Okay. That obviously is one of the most dramatic moments of this video. Now we need to talk about the conspiracy, okay? Let's talk about the conspiracy for a moment because I believe there are two universes. There are two universes here. Now the first one is a bright, happy, positive universe. All right, in this universe, I believe that Logan Paul, because of the set change, because it felt like a very different room with all the food and the different flooring, and because the desk was on the red line, and because Speed was smashing plates after every single time, genuinely forgot about the box and ran out with the idea of smashing the plate. 
And then he just didn't know, and then he got eliminated because of it. That's one universe. We can be in that universe. That's a totally functional universe. It was an accident. That's one universe, okay? But there's also another universe. And that's the universe where Logan Paul, after people like myself and others, called him out for knowing information about this contest, for it being rigged in his favor, and for his, like, optical awareness of what it would look like to the viewer if he teamed up with Nick Giovanni to move on, thought, well, hey, I don't want to win this contest. What if I exit in the most dramatic moment possible by walking out to accidentally smash this plate? That were the two theories that I had in the cube at this moment, okay? Those are the two things that I thought. The accident universe and the on-purpose universe. Now, I will say, I will say, after the contest ended, there was like a viewing party of people who were eliminated but didn't have like time to make a flight home or whatever who were watching it on a monitor. Logan was one of those people, so he stayed behind. So when the contest was all over, I asked Logan straight up. I said, fucking man to man, did you walk out on purpose? And I, like, I almost asked him, like, I, I made that a little dramatic. I almost just asked him casually. I said, Logan, did you walk out on purpose on our accident? I didn't know if the people who were in that room before me were like really pressuring him. Bro, I swear to God, Logan looks at me. He goes, I swear on my unborn daughter's life, it was an accident. I stopped talking to him because I was like, oh, okay, Jesus Christ. Um, but that I'll, you know, take that information for what you will. I thought that was a very aggressive, uh, uh, thing to say, uh, in, in, you know, so like, so I was like, I'm not pushing that any further. I don't, pff, I'm good. I'm out. I, I've tapped out. <laughs> I've tapped out. You win. I don't, I'm not, I don't fight that one. Poip. Thank you for the five gift. I appreciate that. So anyway, uh, after that, Logan was eliminated. Which means that instead of six people moving on, it was five. Spoiler alert, Rubius's dish was pretty horrible. You know what's crazy is this cube doesn't feel like the cube with the kitchen set up. Yeah. So I can see True. how maybe he was like, With like True. this table here too. It feels so different. Yeah, this setup is insane. And now for the final meal. This is a traditional Spanish tortilla. It's not bad. Yeah. Judges, are you ready to reveal it? Yeah. Yes. Three, two. One, reveal. Okay, okay. Okay, it's okay. That adds up to 22, oh. which means you two are eliminated. Okay. I didn't realize how high of a score speed gave them. Hey. It's been a pleasure. And with that, five contestants remain. Congratulations. One of you will win a million dollars for your subscribers. It's gonna be crazy. With a million dollars, I'm gonna do a find me and win a bunch of money challenge. I wanna Okay, now, let me clarify this because I sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Here's my idea. If, if, or maybe when I won the challenge, my idea was to hide myself somewhere in the world with $1 million and the first person to find me would win the million dollars. That was my idea. I think it'd be fucking hype. That's it. I thought it'd be fucking cool. <laughs> I thought of that idea in the box because I was thinking about it because, you know, a million dollars is a lot of money, man. Like, it is, it's a lot. It's a lot of money, okay? And so I wasn't, I wasn't sure, like, what to do with it. And so I was trying to think of, like, maybe what the most hype thing to do is. It's almost like a responsibility, that much money. Uh, Hold up, I got to send a quick message to see if I can leak something to you guys. What did this guy say? I use a lot of it to donate as many meals as I possibly can. We'll host some really cool chess events for our subs. I would really like to pay for a lot of people's like art degree. I like to build schools in South Morocco. It could change a lot of lives. The final five. Now, all of them obviously like had really fucking great ideas, you know, like paying people for art school is really awesome. Nick was talking about just donating to this like fund that helps feed hungry people that 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 uh, it's like a company he's worked with. I mean, Sam was going to build schools, you know, Alex Botez was going to really help promote chess and like youth groups, like everything. Everyone had a really valid like thing they were going to do with the money. I had a stupid fucking idea. <laughs> I had a stupid idea where I'd, I, would, I would hide somewhere in the world. But but I thought that was cool. You know, like everyone thought of a good idea. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, baby. When we started, here's what the cube looked like. And now, everyone literally fits in the money. Now, before we do the last challenge, if you all look over here, open the curtains. These are real play buttons made by YouTube. Wow. And whoever wins, we will also give you every play button of everyone who competed in this tournament. Dude. Okay, I know it's a vanity thing. Subscribers don't actually fucking matter on this website at all. But the fucking 10 million play buttons are so much cooler than the 1 millions. It's crazy. <laughs> They're so much cooler. What the hell, man? They're so dope. Oh, shiny as shit. They're heavy as fuck. Lil bros only got a gold play button. Ain't no way. No, man, I'm close. I guess. What? Wow. Oh, that's crazy. It's like when you collect the heads of people you kill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Bring in the final challenge. At the beginning of each round, everyone will start off blindfolded as I shuffle these five briefcases. Four have nothing in it. One has a million dollar check inside of it. Take your blindfolds off. Come grab a briefcase and take them back to your podium. All right, everyone, look inside your briefcase. I look like a fucking cartoon character. What the hell? <laughs> so this challenge was kind of crazy. It's the final one. We're going to go from five people down to one. The way that this challenge worked is five briefcases were available. Only one had the million. And every single round, we vote somebody out. They get to leave with their briefcase. That's the key. So you want to vote out a person who has nothing in their briefcase. And if you have the million, you want people to think you have nothing in your briefcase. But if you actually have zero dollars, you don't want people to, you know what I mean? It's like this weird mind game. It, it's, it, it, it's basically, yeah, that's a really good way to put it actually, chat. It's basically like playing Among Us and you are the jester. So you want to get voted out. Uh, which makes it very difficult if you have zero dollars because you can't be like too honest. You can't be too good of a town member. And now that everyone knows what they have, everyone will cast a vote to eliminate one player from the game. If that player's case is empty, they're eliminated. If you guys happen to vote for the player with the money, the game is over. And that YouTuber walks away with a million dollars for their subscribers. This is a game of bluffing and how well you can read each other. Which one of you has the best poker face? Start the timer. One of you can win a million dollars in the next few minutes. Right out of the gate, I'm pretty confident it's one of these two. The women? Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that was such a funny answer. Their facial expressions. Now... In this challenge, you can tell everyone's very tense. I was pretty aloof. I don't like to play like strategy, social, whatever Among Us like games with that sort of tense change in in like identity. I like to keep the same identity that I always have, like my same personality. Uh, I find that I'm able to like operate better in that. So I, I act like a little bit crazy here, you might notice. He's a little bit aggressive, no? He's taking charge. Is he taking charge because he has zero dollars and he's scared to be voted off? Could be. This is tense. I so far think she has the million, to be honest. She's the most confident, but like trying to mask it. She has the million. Do you? <laughs> I have the million. So you're, you're saying you have the million dollars? I have the million dollars. Okay. Mm, I feel confident that you don't. What, what makes you say that? Because I know she has zero and wants to stay in longer. You think her briefcase says zero dollars and she's lying so you won't vote for her. She wants to make sure that she stays in another round, but it does not say a million. Less than f I fucking love playing poker. <laughs> and I know Alex Botez also loves playing poker. And so I was basically hard reading a bluff here. And I wanted people to act on my read because i felt very confident on my read five minutes till you all have to decide if i didn't know what everybody had i think it's best to vote as alliances we were teammates we were teammates your teammate ran out so the easiest thing would be to vote nick out and then we all have a better chance if i was playing with no information okay but you do have info so who do you want to vote you guys should vote me we should vote you. i would like to win 
I think voting Alex is beast. I'm comfortable doing it. I know she doesn't have the million. That's ballsy. Everyone here has been very cool, and so I'm going to play it by the game, and she's lied in this game. I have the million. If I've lied in the game, wouldn't someone else have also lied? Yeah, but I know you've lied. Dude, I'm so badass here. I don't give a fuck. I fucking called her ass out. That's the best vote to go off. Everyone else is like at least putting up a, a, a veil of honesty or actually being honest. I know she lied. Hard fucking read. That's risky for the first game, no? Uh, yeah, you have to take some risks and win a million dollars. If the risk that's is so wrong. That's so badass, man. She no, that's it. actually tough. That is tough. You guys should go ahead and start writing down. Who are you voting for? Now, here's the issue. Here's the issue. They cut it out. Here's the issue. All right. Let's see who you voted for. Right before we started to write names down, I mix him. Low-key fucked me. <laughs> love the guy. I love the guy. He low-key fucked me. Because right before we start to write names down, he goes, I'm going to write down Ludwig. And then we kind of stopped talking. I had pushed who I thought was lying. I mix him said he was going to vote me. Nick and Jaden were kind of quiet. So I started to get fucking nervous because he says he's voting me. Nobody's basically down to ride or die my hard re. And so I, I'm like trying to think of who I can vote as like a joining the popular vote to stay in. Our first vote is for Jaden Animations. I didn't even do anything. That was out of left field. That was surprising. Our second vote is for Ludwig. Our third vote is for I mix him. Our I voted I mix him there. Now I would have voted Botez because that was my read, but nobody was like, yeah, I'll join you. And so I was like, you know, maybe he looks a bit weak. He said he's gonna vote me. It was probably a rookie move to just vote back, but that's what I did. Fourth vote is Jaden. Dude, I didn't. And the final vote is Ludwig. Whoa. Now here's the fucking craziest thing of all. I mix him, didn't vote me. He didn't vote me. He voted for Jaden. But because he said he was going to vote me, Alex and Nick are the two who voted me. They went off the confidence in him saying he was going to write my name down as a, like, you know, basically sheep vote, like a like following the leader vote. So it's a tie. Since we have a tie, we're adding a minute on the timer. You three will get to hear them plead their cases and then have to re-vote. Explain why they should or should not vote for you two. I didn't think we were voting for me. Well, you would have voted for yourself if you had the million. I think you voted for yourself. No. That means Ludwig voted for himself. That means he has it, if this is true. Who do you think I voted for? I think you voted for him. I voted for Ludwig. Yeah, so did I. I voted for Jaden. Jaden, who did you vote for? <laughs> him. You voted for him? So this is a no-brainer. Wait, wait, then you said so did I. All right, timer hit zero. Now the issue is Nick is totally spot on. If he knows that he voted for me and Alex voted for me, if you have the million, you should vote for yourself, always. And I only had two votes against me, so they know I didn't vote for myself. So they know Jaden voted for herself, and so you can probably guess what happens next. It's now up to you three to break the tie. Our first vote, Ludwig. Mm. How does that make you feel? Read the second one. Well, I want to know how that first one made you feel. I would like for you to read the second. I think it's going to be good. The second one is Jaden. Oh, man, dude. What? <laughs> Shaking again. The person who is opening up their briefcase is Ludwig. <laughs> if this says a million dollars, the video is over. If it says zero dollars, we do another round. It's a pleasure, guys. It is not. You went beast mode though. I knew you blocked. GG's. Now you don't get to vote in the very final round. So me and Jaden didn't vote. It was just the other three who voted. And uh and Nick and Alex voted me out. Which which by the way means that Jaden had the million dollars that round. And I was spot on on my hard read that Alex was lying about the million. I was spot on, bro.
spot on. But it didn't matter because even if you have a great read, you need to get people to follow your read. And I couldn't do that in the moment. If Ludwig now eliminated, Jimmy, he joined. The I think I needed to push for MXM more. I think if I if I talked to MXM, if I went, bro, trust me, vote Alex, things would have gone differently. But I honestly wasn't upset. And I'll tell you why when I open this briefcase. The rest of the fallen soldiers in our viewing room to watch the rest of the challenge. The second round starts once again with everyone blindfolded. We then reshuffled and the remaining players picked their briefcases. You guys know what to do. If you're asking how do you win if you don't pick the million dollar briefcase, the answer is simple. You continuously vote out someone without the million dollars until you eventually pick it up. So you do have to have the luck to get the briefcase, so to speak, but you can reset because it resets every round, right? And eventually pick it up. Start the 10 minute timer. What if you never get it? Never lucky, baby. GG. 1v1? I don't know. I think it, I forget how 1v1 works. I, we didn't, get, well, <clears throat> never mind. Jaden, did you get a mill again? But you said you had the million. And she said she had zero. So everybody's lying, but there's three people who have zero. Who are not me! Not me! I didn't lie! I didn't lie! I need to work together to figure out who has a mill. Yeah. Did anybody see anything? Any body language? You're the only one that gave different body language. You were much more animated. Yeah. Do you have anything? I have a um, suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> you could also be trying to get the pressure off of you to Absolutely. try to vote me out. Absolutely. I know it's not me. I don't think it's you. So the million is here or here for you? Yeah, mostly I think it's you. You think he has it? Our first real claim. You're saying he has the million dollar briefcase. As of right now, I think he has the million dollar briefcase. Who are you voting for? It's valuable info. You vote for someone, they vote for themselves. It's two of the four votes. I haven't decided. I don't know, for me, it's a 50-50 between you two. Oh, I could vote for you, yeah. Me? Yeah, because that's just a matter of statistics, probability. Like, statistically, I shouldn't have it again. That's that makes no fucking sense! Okay, I love Amixum. I love Amixum. I think he's actually a really fucking genuine guy. A very sweet guy. That is not how gambling works. It is the, st it's the same stats. If you, if you win the previous hand, the current hand does not change, right? You know? If you're playing roulette and it's black, it is just as equally going to be black on the next one. Now, if you maybe take a look across like a 20 sample size, it hitting black 20 times in a row has a very low probability. But every individual one, when you hone in, has the same probability. It doesn't change. There's no magic wizard that changes probability. That's an interesting point. It's not! It's not! I can't believe that the gambler's fallacy snuck its way into a Mr. Beast video and now hundreds of millions of kids across the world are going to think that if you get lucky one time, then you probably have less chance of getting lucky second time. It's just not how it works. All right. Write who you want to open their briefcase. Up first, we have a vote for Jaden. Our second vote is for Alex. One and one. Our third vote is also for Jaden. And our fourth and final vote <sighs> is Jaden. If this has a million dollars, you instantly win. I think it does. <laughs> You are so chill. Jaden! I was like, surely she's out. You are the winner. Woo! How do you uh, not uh, give uh, it away to your subscribers? I am not lying. I was so pumped that Jaden won. Of the people left, I wanted her to win the most. Like, I, I genuinely think, like, everyone had a great use of the money. It's not like I valued that higher. But I just think, like, first off, Jaden gave up. Her invincibility or invulnerability or whatever on that one challenge to me out of just like kindness, right? Like she had to fucking go through all the challenges, won them all fair and square. I got like baby walked through two of the three challenges or I guess two of the four. She worked all four challenges, like did her fucking thing. 
the cooking one, the steel no steel, the uh, the squid game one, right? Where she gave up her immunity. E e even the um, the the the. the the Jenga. She played Jenga against Odd Ones Out. She had to just win fair and square. So she she walked the hardest path, and I think because of that, deserves the sweetest rewards, you know? And she's also just like a cool fucking person. It's hard for a lot of artists out there. Um, I just... <laughs> I, I really like to send a lot of them to art school. And there you have it. Jamie and Animation just won a million dollars for her subscribers. Yeah, on my channel. On my channel, though. On my channel. There it is, dude. That was the fucking greatest Mr. Beast video all time. Many are heralding it. People are saying it could be because my inclusion. I don't know, folks. That's what people are saying. And so you might be wondering, Ludwig, if Jaden win, if you got fifth place, what's in the briefcase? Why do you keep fucking talking about this briefcase if a million dollars isn't inside of it? Well, I actually have two surprises for you. The first one is what's in here. Because, you see, I didn't get the million in this briefcase. But I got something, I would say, uh, quite valuable. Because in this briefcase, uh, I have... Jaden Animation's YouTube play button that I stole from the set. <laughs> I stole her play button. Nobody at Mr. Beast's headquarters knows about this. I didn't tell a soul. I walked one of the empty briefcases over when we were celebrating. I stole it. I put it in the briefcase and I flew across the country, Mr. Beast. It's too late. You can't take it back because this puppy is going to be auctioned off at the Sea Dog VA auction this Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific. If you guys want it, it will be available online for you to buy. If you can't be the winner, then you might as well steal from the winner. That's my fucking strategy, baby. Not bad. That's not bad. Yes, sir. Ocean's one. Ocean's one in the building. But that's not all. You see, that's not all I got. I didn't just get the play button. There was a moment when there was just five of us left in this box. There was just five of us left in this box, and we had about three hours of downtime. And so we got to talking. We had made it very far, you know. Going from 50 down to five people is not an easy uh, task. You know, that is, not, that is a pretty heavy accomplishment. Okay. So there's five of us left from 50, and we all had very good uses for the money. Nick was trying to help people who were hungry. Imixim was building schools for people in Morocco. Jaden was trying to pay for people's art school. Alex was trying to promote chess. I was trying to make a stupid YouTube video. So I threw out this idea. I said, look, whoever wins it, a million dollars is a fuck ton. It's almost a burden how much money that is. What if we make a pact where everyone gets at least 100K? The winner still gets the lion's share, $600,000. But $100,000 to build schools in Morocco goes a long way. $100,000 to feed hungry people goes a long way. $100,000 to promote chess to like youth groups goes a long way. Who's to say one is more valuable than the other? Why can't we all win? Six hundred dollars to pay for art school still goes a long way too. And so I also have $100,000 that I won from this contest. Which is maybe why you might have seen me be quite relaxed in the final challenge. is because I already felt like a fucking champion going into it. Now, the way this works, chat. The way this works. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, I just got a DM from Jaden. She says, wait, you what, Jaden? I stole this shit. I stole this shit. It is mine now, Jaden. Well, uh, for one week until I give it to Connor. <clears throat> uh, anyway, um, my bad about that. 